Welcome back to Our Attack and Daughters. And we're here at the office and we're doing some reviews this week. Because uh, this is the only time place I got time to do uh, stuff for the channel this week. Lots going on at work, and which is always good. Keeps you busy. And but I still got to make time for the channel. So it's Wheel Gum Wednesday. And we're going to talk about this um, RG Model uh, 66, which is a single action army type 22 long rifle pistol you'll notice that it is cocked and there's a reason for that so let's get into it and you'll get to see some range footage as well so um we did this to so show that the gun is unloaded it is a six shooter all right so there we go loading gates down by the way that's how you load it if you don't know about single action army type pistols, uh, that's how you load it and unload it. You have your uh, D road or uh, ejector rod right here. You simply push down like this, and it ejects the cartridges. As you'll see in the um, range footage, I kept trying to pop the cylinder out because I'm mean, used to swing out cylinder. So let's get into this uh, neat little gun. Um, and go from there. So, I am a fan of these RG pistols. Uh, there's a 38 Special th floating around the house that I need to do some work to to get it up and running. There's a Model 632 that I have. There's a Model uh, 22 Short. And, of course, this one. So, this is the third one in the RG series that I have. I picked this up at the local gun shop for a hundred bucks. Not bad for um, a fun training gun. Now there is some holster wear like right here, right here, and on the end of the barrel. And we'll get closer in here and see if you can see the caliber 22. Rome. And... Anyway, got its RG stamp right here. Got its caliber on the stamped on the cylinder as well. Locks up pretty good. This is loose a little bit, the trigger guard here, but you know, um, most of them are. So I just need to tighten that up a little bit. I did shoot 100 rounds out of this. Here's your cylinder removal pin. You push in here, pull this out, put it on half cocked. Open up your loading gate and your cylinder will come out. It is a pain to get in and out, but it is what it is. So we got some plastic wood looking um, grips. Your serial number is on the bottom of the backs up here. We noticed that the grips don't fit all the way. These may be aftermarket grips. And I hadn't taken them off yet to look and see if uh, why they're not fitting all the way. There might be some inlaying done. But other than that, I mean, that's the only problem I've seen with the pistol. These are very simple guns. Uh, this does have like a, a thumb ride. I guess that's what you can call it. As you can see here, I got battling allergies right now. There's a place right here to rest your thumb. And let me tell you, that's a good place. I mean, I got to admit, whoever come up with this design, if this was uh, RG on purpose that did this, Good idea because, man, talking about comfortable grip, you know, um, the only time it doesn't make it comfortable is when you cock it all the way and you're still out like that. And then, of course, you got your little meat right here if you're like me. But anyway, so, fun little gun, shot a lot, uh, seems to be in, uh, got some decent accuracy, accuracy shocks uh, if I can speak uh, at 7 yards I didn't take it out no farther than that we got us a 5 inch barrel might be 6 inch I don't know I think it's 5 inch we're going to call it 5 inch you got your half moon blade front sight you got your typical cowboy sights right there there is no interrupter right here and it is adjustable back sight is adjustable right there Pretty neat. I just noticed that. 
I might have to pull those up a little bit. Firing pin. There's no crossbar safety in there. So that's before the age of those. And there's no safety on this pistol like your Heritage Rough Riders. So I would not say this is a good gun to start out uh, someone shooting with. Uh, this is after they understand the fundamentals of firearms and uh, the five safeties of the firearm world. Once they get to that point, then this is good. Now you can carry this on um, half cock with six in or with six rounds in it. It's not gonna, you know, this is not Al Baldwin's single action gun here. So even on half carry, it, it locks the trigger. Even if you do this, it ain't gonna do nothing. There's third, and then there's no there's no way you can fire this gun. So even if he's doing this, it, it, it it's not enough to puncture it. So anyway, this does have the uh, the four clicks. If you listen, you'll you'll hear them. That's the four clicks that a lot of people talk about. Fun gun to shoot. I mean, it is hilarious. Uh, the accurate. Does have a little bit of play in the cylinder, but not too much for 22. I have not cleaned it after I shot the 100 rounds, and that's bad. I should have cleaned it because you should always clean your firearms after using um, to ensure that they stay in good shape. And but there's a lot of wear on this. Somebody's had a lot of fun with it. Um, Victoria, Emmett, and I will have more fun with this gun in the future. Uh, a lot of cowboy sh action shooting. Uh, well, that you could do with this possibility uh, shooting still if they have stuff like that. So even just going out and planking, it's been a fun gun. So Victoria's hit me on the back there uh, saying it's time to play the range footage. So please enjoy the range footage. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It costs nothing to do so. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can order a channel patch. Just send me an email. It's on our about page, uh, and I'll tell you how to get one. Or you can join the channel membership, which is as low as a dollar, and you're still eligible for a patch, a name strip after one year of membership. And we've sent those out to people, and we appreciate you watching the video, and stay tuned for more. Go ahead, Victoria. Roll the footage. German Cowboy. This is an RG 22 long rifle six shooter. Let's see how she does. <laughs> A little slow reload in the six shooter. And I'm shooting a little high with it, so let's see if we can adjust my aim and see about getting it at the pin range. I won't show you the target on it. So 
got to go through the half cock selection. And the loading gate, you spin it, now you got to So far, uh, it is shooting good after I adjusted my sight. Okay, so we're ready to shoot. Let's see what we get this time. Think bad about this. You only got six shots. The weight of this revolver makes it uh, fun to shoot, not too heavy. Um, and recoil is nothing. It's 22 long rifle anyway, so add a little weight to it and you have nothing. No recoil whatsoever. Definitely a fun gun to shoot. And it's pretty accurate.